Hello everyone, it's Connie here from Menu Dogs, and welcome back to a new video on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be starting the first owner only command, and that's going to be the eval command. But before we get into this, I just want to correct some mistakes that happened in previous videos, things that were just overlooked. Over into the message event, come down here, you'll notice I've actually previously, you know, done a little bit of testing, but we're, what we're going to do actually is just remove these in particular, and copy it. All C obviously, and we're just gonna do message.guild open some parameters here and just shove that in there. Basically, what happened is we weren't checking if the message being sent was in a guild, and basically you don't have permissions outside of a guild, so there was an issue there. So we pretty much have to check if the command is being run in a guild, and then we can go in and do all this stuff in here. Next, we had an issue with check only. Basically, we had, if I go into structures and go into util.js, we had this async. And basically, async returns a promise and promise will always return falsely. Basically, just re remove what would be the async here and you should be fine. Now, the third alteration we made was instead of providing the whole user object, what I did is just provided the ID because that's all we need for this. So you're just gonna add the ID property here and then remove it from in here. So those are the three changes that have been made. That should be it. Basically, let's get straight into the video. Now. So on our first line here, what we're going to do is const message equals message. Now, the reason we're doing this is so when you go to run an eval command, you could, for instance, do message.guild. And this will just save you a little bit of time. And potentially, if you're on phone, uh, you know, typos, because I know, for instance, I sometimes type message incorrectly when running eval commands. Um, but yeah, we're just adding this in here to make it easier for you guys. In the next line, what we're going to do is we're just going to check the args length. And obviously, if there is no args length, we're just going to simply return. So we're going to return message.channel.send. And we're going to say, um, I need uh, code. To Following this, what we're going to do is let code equal args.join. And then under this, we're simply going to do code equals code.replace. And we're gonna do a little bit of fancy schmancy here. So I'm actually just gonna paste it in um, because obviously we go through test all the code and everything in particular. So basically what we're doing here is on certain mobile phones, you'll have uh, like these weird uh, six, six and nine, nine quotes. Um, so basically what we're doing is we're just going through that code and making sure that we alter those into uh, double quotes here or, you know, the single six and nines to a single quote. Now, this is just to make sure that the, the code can run correctly because the, it won't recognize this when we go for the evaluate uh, function. So we're just going to do that. And yeah, let's head on into the next part. So we're going to do evaluated and then we're going to have a try catch here. And inside this try catch, we're going to start with const start equals process uh, process dot hour time and a semicolon there. And then we're going to do pretty much evaluated equals eval and then code. And that's going to be the evaluated part pretty much. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to have an if statement here and we're going to do eval instance of and then just promise. And if so, what we're going to do is do evaluated equals um, await eval evaluated. So basically, this will handle the promise for us. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go outside of this and we're going to have const stop equals and that's going to be process our time and then start. Following this, this is where we get down to the response. So what's going to be sent equals and it's going to be an array here. And we're going to have three elements in the first line. What we're going to do is we're going to do output. So output have some colons there and this is going to be backspace, 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 JS, new line. Uh, this is so that it doesn't break and it actually shows the syntax uh, highlighting this dot clean inspect this dot clean inspect and then we're going to do uh, evaled then what we're going to do is we're going to have some options and we're just going to pretty much do depth as zero and then on the other side of this outside of the curly brace we're just going to have new line uh, backspace uh, backslash and then pretty much just to put it in the embed here as well what we're going to do actually is we're just going to simply copy this we're going to go to the new line and we're going to do 
type and following that we're going to change this to ts instead of js and we're going to do sorry we want to stay inside we're going to simply do new type not type error sorry new type and then evald uh dot is and that is that and then you want to have you don't want to have that in particular but you want to have the new line there now following this what we're going to do is going to have the time taken so that this this part up here so the process dot start which is here uh, the process hour time the start and then the stop and then in here we're going to have time taken with our guys here to make it embedded so we're going to have a stop zero and then we're going to have times one e nine following that outside of that we're going to have stop one and outside of that we're going to divide it one e six and then ms and then we're going to have those wonderful uh back ticks again following this we're going to have cons res equals response dot join and we're going to join it with a new line that needs to be in a string so like a so next we're going to do if and then we're going to have if res dot res dot length is greater than uh lesser than sorry lesser than uh what we're going to do is just await message dot channel dot send and we're going to send the results or res oh it's going to do it for us which what we're going to do is buffer dot from from and then we're going to do res inside here we're just going to simply do output dot text following that that's when we're just going to simply send this to the channel using the text channel send and we're going to input the output as the parameter here so now now we're going to do a catch and inside said catch we're going to have here as the uh, assignment for the error we're going to return message dot channel channel dot send and we are simply just going to send error we're gonna have some oh ooh, let's not do that we're gonna quickly grab these back ticks from up here we have back ticks xl we're gonna have new line and then we're gonna have this dot this dot clean uh and then we're gonna have error then we're gonna have some back ticks again but we're gonna go all the way back here we're gonna have new line and that is gonna be that so you guys are probably wondering what this dot clean is and we're just literally about to get into that and it's going to be a function that we actually have inside the file itself so it's going to be outside the run function it's going to be down here we're going to call it clean and then we're going to input the parameter name or assign the parameter that's going to become passed in parameter spot number one as text and then we are simply going to do if type of and then type of text equals and then simply string so we're checking if text is equal to string the type sorry is equal to string we're going to do text equals text and this is where we go next line and we do simply replace um and then we're going to do forward slash back tick forward slash g um and then comma and slash here and then we're going to have the back ticks again we're going to have a backslash from char code then we're going to have eight two zero three outside this we're going to have replace so actually there's going to be another replace just down below replace and we're going to replace this with uh the forward slash uh at symbol forward slash g but that's backslash and then we're going to pretty much be doing at string uh from char code and this one's going to be 8203 as well following this and the final replace it's going to be replace and we're going to do new reg x this dot client dot token to gi so and then outside of here sorry we're just gonna do uh so what we're doing here is we're just replacing some symbols and that with um basically like other stuff 
and with down here we're pretty much protecting your client token from being exposed via the command um, outside of here what we're going to do is simply do return text and that should be that function done as well as the command done which is absolutely wonderful what i did forget to do here as well guys is i forgot to uh require a package here so we're just gonna uh do const and we're gonna get type from this package equals require and we are going to require the package at extreme underscore extreme underscore hero slash a deep type and then we're going to simply install this package on package manager and so and there's a typo here guys don't forget to make sure you're you know assigning correct names or like going for checking on typos and that right so now that the bot is loaded up what we're going to do is we're going to head on over into the channel and just for instance we're going to do eval uh let's just do message.guild.name and it should return the name there you go and then for instance if we were to do eval uh just the message.guild it should return the guild object um yeah like a so so that's pretty much the eval command done make sure it is locked to the owner only of the command Otherwise, you could have some issues here because you can run scripts and such um, that can lead to bad things. Anyways, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button and also watch out for the next video for this week. We're going to be doing a little bit something different and we're kind of detouring from the original kind of um, list that we were going with uh, just to make sure that we're getting some really good stuff in place before we move into like music commands and economy and stuff like that. Anyways guys that's been Connie here from Docs. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next video.